Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at some examples on how to use equations to find missing angles given some sort of diagram uh, with lines or shapes. Basically using the relationships between angles that we talked about in previous videos like complementary angles, supplementary angles, and vertical angles. In this example for instance we can see that we get we have this 90 degree angle here. Okay, so um, that's good to know because we also have this straight line that goes across and that's at we know that these two angles must add up to 180 degrees and we also know since this is 90 degrees this also must be 90 degrees and therefore these two angles here which one is 6x and this other angle here is 12x okay they must add up to 90 degrees and that's how we can set up an equation so this purple angle here is 6x, so we take 6x plus this angle here, which is 12x, that should be equal to 90 degrees, okay? And at this point, you use your um, properties of equations to solve this equation. And if you notice on the left side here, we can actually simplify this. Always look to see if you can simplify either side first. In this case, 6x plus 12x we know that's 18x and that equals 90 and now to undo that multiplication we see by x here 18 times x we can use the inverse of multiplication which is division by 18 on both sides of the equation and that leaves us with x equals 5 now why does dividing by 18 work well 18 divided by 18 here is 1. That's 1x. That's what we want to do. And always doing things on both sides to maintain equality. Here we have another example. This one also adds up to 90 degrees. But we have a more information here. Basically more angles to deal with. So we have this 90 degree angle here. Okay, And we know that these three angles. This purple angle x. Okay, This orange angle 2x and this green angle x plus 10, these must all add up to 90 degrees. So let's just add them up. We have x plus 2x plus x plus 10, which is shown with parentheses. But no need to worry. We know all of this adds up to 90 degrees. Now we have parentheses here, but because there's no multiplier in the front, you don't have negatives, you don't, the parentheses are not really doing much here, but to tell you that, hey, that's the information of the green angle here, okay? So let's do this. So we have x plus 2x plus x, that is 4x plus the 10 here, that's equal to 90, okay? And we saw this using inverse operations. Now, just keep in mind that we simply applied what we have used before called combining like terms, okay? We have x plus 2x plus x plus 10. Keep in mind that because these parentheses are not making a big difference here, that's because we have no multiplier, okay? It's not the distributive property, so it's okay. Um, x plus 2x plus x, that's 4x. And now you use inverse operations here, so subtract 10 on both sides. And so that's 0, we're left with 4x, and that equals 80. And so to undo multiplication, we divide by 4 on both sides. Okay, so x is equal to 20. You can always check your work to see if that actually adds up to 90. So for example here, if x is 20, well, this angle is 20 degrees. This is 2x, so that will be 40 degrees. And this is 20 plus 10, which is 30 degrees. So ask yourself, do these actually add up to 90 degrees? As a matter of fact, they do. 20 plus 40 is 60, plus 30 is 90. And one last one here. Uh, we have a straight angle here. That's 180 degrees. We have two angles that add up to 180 degrees. So we have this green angle here, and we have this orange angle here. And so both angles would give us 3x plus 12 plus x would equal 180 degrees, okay? So you solve it the same way, 3x, I can combine with x, that's 4x plus 12 equals 180. 
subtract 12 on both sides same idea same thing we've done in the past 4x equals um, what's 180 minus 12 you get 168 and then you divide by 4 on both sides so x is equal to 42 so in this case you can always check like I said before if x is 42 degrees Okay, and then this x here is 42 degrees, you get 3 times 42 plus the 12. And so you see, just to make sure that, that actually adds up to 180. And so we know 3 times 42, that is 126 plus 12 plus 42. And so 126 plus 12 that is from here you get 138 138 plus the 42 degrees is 180 okay so yeah this is I know that kinda got all over the place here but the point is you can always check to see if the angles actually add up to 180 or 90 degrees whichever you're working on